Queen Elizabeth II, the UK's longest-serving monarch, died on Thursday at Balmoral Castle in Scotland after reigning for 70 years. She was 96. Her death bring an end to the longest reign in the history of the United Kingdom and one of the longest ruled by any head of state. Buckingham Palace said she died at Balmoral Castle, her summer residence in Scotland. Where members of the royal family has rushed to her side after her health took a turn for the worse, the queen enjoyed robust health well into her ninety. Although she used a cane in appearance after the death of Philip, her husband of seventy-three years in twenty twenty-one, in October she was hospitalized for a night in London for test, and thereafter her public appearance grew scarcer. With the end of Queen Elizabeth's long reign. UK will enter a new era of royalty with her 33 years old son Charles becoming the monarch. Queen Elizabeth II ascended to the throne on the death of her father on February 6, 1952. While she was in Kenya on a royal tour, she was crowned on June 2, 1953, at Westminster Abbey, the first ever coronation to be televised. On September 9, 2015. She surpassed the 63 years, seven months, two days, 16 hours, and 23 minutes that her great great grandmother Queen Victoria spent on the throne to become the country's longest reigning monarch in a line dating back to Norman King William, the Conqueror in 1066. When she ascended the throne, Joseph Stalin, Mao Zedong, and Harry Truman were leading Soviet Union. China and the United States, while Winston Churchill was British Prime Minister. In seven decades on the throne, Queen Elizabeth II saw 15 British Prime Minister come and go, from Winston Churchill to Margaret Thatcher to Boris Johnson and to Liz Truss. During her reign, there have been 14 U.S. presidents, all of whom she has met, bear Lyndon Johnson. She also saw seven pops during her reign. With the death of the queen, her 73 years old son Charles automatically become monarch, even though the coronations might not take place for months. It is not known whether he will choose to call himself King Charles III or some other name. Charles' wife Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, will be known as Queen Consort, a title that came with Queen Elizabeth II's blessing after years of contention, dating back to the days before she even married Prince Charles. From a new face on the country's stamps and coin to the new world, for the national anthems, Britain will see changes with death of Queen Elizabeth and the accession of her son Charles to the throne. The word of British national anthems, which it's present from dates back in the 18th century, will change from "God Save the Queen" to "God Save the King." Newly minted and printed coins and banknote. Will feature the head of the king as the monarch image is shown on British currency. Old coins and banknotes will remain in circulation until they are gradually replaced over time. The royal cipher, the monogram used by the monarch, which currently feature the queen stamp below an image of the Saint Edward crown, will change. Senior loyal will become king's counsel rather than queen's counsel. Another legal title that used queen will change to king. It is no secret that UK's plan for eventual death of Queen Elizabeth II was condemned in London Bridge, but there was special provision if the monarch died when she was in Scotland, called Operation Unicorns. The unicorns is the national animal of Scotland and form parts of the royal coat of arms, along with the lion of England. If the queen passed away in Scotland, her body will rest at Holroods House. Following which, her coffin will be carried to the cathedral on the Royal Mile in Edinburgh. A report said, her body will then be placed on the royal train at Waverley Station in Edinburgh for a journey down the East Coast Main Line to London. Queen Elizabeth II was the first British monarch to accede. To the throne after India's independence from colonial rules in 1952, and cherish the warmth and hospitality she received during her three-state visit to the countries over the course of her reign 
in 1961, 1983, and 1997. During her long life of public duty and protocol, Queen Elizabeth II occasionally shared in her subject ordinary life, often during sneaked or staged encounters. There are many examples of this. As a 19-year-old princess, Elizabeth and her sister Margaret sneaked out of Buckingham Palace to celebrate the end of World War II in Europe on May 8, 1945, mingling anonymously among the jubilant crowd. Queen Elizabeth entered the London Underground on six occasions, start with the first trip in 1936. During her reign, the monarch tried out every shade in the color chart from canary yellow to lime green, fuchsia and navy blue. Queen Elizabeth II's corgi dog were the most loyal of all the monarch's servants, providing domestic companionship during a nearly century in the public lair. Most recently, she showed her mischievous side during the Platinum Jubilee sublation when she started in a comic video alongside an animation Paddington Bear and spoke of hiding Maramel's sandwich in her purse. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.